vacuum chamber Mark II. So here I have a very thick Pyrex bowl. It's not glass, it's Pyrex. Uh, two rather large plastic cutting boards, one of which I've routed out a small uh, indentation there to fit the seal in. You can see the row of holes for the bolts. That's the center hole is uh, plugged up and then here this goes to the vacuum and then this one goes off to my vacuum meter. It's just got a hole in it that's about the size it fits on there. This is a piece of silicon cooking mat that I've cut to size to fit into my gap here. Which forms a nice seal. Once it's all laid out, that's all the bolts that I'll have to put in to tie it all down. My nice shiny new vacuum pump, which in the documentation says it'll go down to 25 microns. Which is pretty good. It's not um, not quite enough to do the Farnsworth fuser, but enough to play with a little bit better than what I've been doing. And then this is my it's a vacuum gauge I got from Repco. It's moderately accurate. So and then here we have a glass of ordinary drinking water, just at room temperature. There we go, boiling water at room temperature. <laughs> 